Hello everyone, and welcome back to Fantasy Star 3. Now, I mean, so now let's get start to continue what we have to do now. So, all you have to do at first now is just keep going up north. You'll actually enter the cave, I mean, cave, castle area. After you enter the castle area, if you talk, if you talk to the guards by the throne room, they'll kind of get up and say that there's, um, a girl named Maya who's waiting in your room. So, from the guards, just go north, go west, and then go north again. And then you'll have an automatic cutscene where your character will automatically walk over to this girl named Maya. If you remember from the beginning when I showed you the opening, Maya is actually the girl who's lying on the beach that has amnesia, who doesn't know anything that's going on. You know, he doesn't know like who she is, where she came from, anything else. You know, any other information like that. So, you know, after talking, you know, after talking to Maya, you know, you automatically start to head towards the throne room. After getting to the throne room, Vriss is right about to make his vows to Maya to marry her, but as soon as he was about to, a, a monster pops up, grabs Maya, and teleports away with her. So now, um, so now it's like, now Vriss is like, RETURN HER! I'll find her if I have to search forever! He's like, I'll take the army and destroy Leia's clan! And the king is like, don't be a fool! No one has seen a land in a, for over a thousand years. Starting a war is not a rational thing to do. Cool off in the dungeon for a while. And then the knights grab Riss and start the score dungeon. Then Riss is like, you can't stop me from going after her father. I'll find her again and I'll bring her back. I swear it. And then the guards escort Rist to the dungeon. You know, because he's so manly in love with Maya that he wanted to go and, you know, he wanted to go and try to save her. But the king is like, nope, sorry, can't go save her. Go to the dungeon for a while, go cool off. So all you have to do now is go and um, check out the treasure chest. Um, in the in the top left chest, you actually find a knife. The knife would basically be your starting weapon for right now. We'll actually find a better weapon. Um, I mean, we're actually going to get a better weapon. By the next part, I have a, I have a much better weapon equipped than the knife. Um, the middle chest will have 300 gold coins, and in the top right chest will have a monitor. The monitor is basically a it's kind of like a map. It's not really a good map because it doesn't really it doesn't really pinpoint exactly like um where certain like caves are or where certain um um duh. Like, like where, I mean, like where certain caves are, where certain like towns or anything else. When you pull the map up, it'll basically just have the area where you're at, and it'll basically have a blinking dot, just in case you know you kind of walk too far or you went the wrong way by accident. I mean, it's sometimes it's helpful, sometimes it's sometimes it's really not. So what happens though, as we, I mean, after you check out through treasure chest, go back to the door and then talk to the, and then talk to the girl there. You kind of find out her name is Lena, and Lena will help you escape. And she kind of says, go find Maya. So our main objective is to go find Maya and to bring, you know, to go find Maya and save her. Now, unfortunately, we just can't go save Maya immediately. There's a couple of other objectives we have to take care of. The first objective is we have to actually go to, I mean, we have to actually go to a cave to go to another area. Unfortunately, we can't actually, we can't actually enter that cave because we have to find a certain gem like you know like you have to find certain gems like amethyst ruby emerald things like that in order to actually um enter certain caves in this game because they're like blocked by a rock slide or something so i mean so from Latin, just keep going down just keep going south and then you and then you actually um meet up with it in the town of yata so the town of yata actually will have somebody who's actually a sailor who actually can um, take you to where one of the gems I mean one of the gems is to get entrance to the cave to get what we have to get to next unfortunately the old man is very is, is very superstitious and he kind of asks you that you need to have a cyborg with him because he kind of says you know cyborgs are good luck so 
what I'm gonna do now is uh, I'm gonna actually end this video now and I'm gonna do some off-screen leveling I'm gonna do some um, buy some equipment and everything else I'm gonna do you know buy some buy some equipment do some level of grinding and on the next part we're going to go find that cyborg hope everybody enjoyed later <laughs>